Hurricane Dorian is nearing the southeast coast after devastating the Bahamas. As News Channel 5's Kyle Horan tells us, dozens of Tennesseans are on standby to lend a helping hand. There are crews from nonprofits here locally. There's crews from the American Red Cross. We've got local firefighters that have all gone down to try to help for Hurricane Dorian. And the American Red Cross tells me that they're treating this like it's going to be a disastrous storm. Well, the cost is created in literally rebuilding communities and people's homes and their lives again. Sherry McKinney of the American Red Cross had to do this interview over the phone. She's being sent to lend her skills to the recovery effort in Florida. But we have people down there doing disaster services, disaster recovery, sheltering. Uh, we have mental health advisors down there. The Red Cross has 48 people from Tennessee in Florida to help. It's a serious situation. And there are other groups who are lending their skills as well. For example, Caliber Care and Transport sent nine of its crews to help with medical transportation. Kyle Culver is a co-founder of the group who are now staged in this warehouse in North Florida. Uh, we've got places to sleep. We've got plenty of great food, great meals uh, for all of our crews and all of our staff. Uh, but at any moment's notice, we've got 30 minutes uh, to go from, hey, uh, sorry, you were sleeping at 3 in the morning to we need you in St. Lucia or we need you in Orlando uh, or anywhere else, you know, that we're having to go. Helicopters are there, ambulances too, but they may not stay here very long. It's hard to know where the need will be right now. Everyone's in good spirits. Uh, you do see a lot of phones out, you know, watching the Weather Channel, watching the news, uh, looking at those uh, spaghetti lines to figure out where we might be headed next. Alert, maybe even on edge, waiting for the storm to hit. Kyle Haran, News Channel 5.